So out here, it's considered the bog. Where all these vegetation, I mean, you should see how black the dirt is. I wish I had this for my flower gardens. And you can see the fjords where the glacier cut through. I think it was like millions and millions, 400, 500, 600 million years ago. Pretty crazy. This is so exciting for me. I wanted to see this forever. I thought I'd have to go to Norway, but look at here, I got to Newfoundland. For Pete's sakes. Look at all those flowers that grow up here. So Chuck, what do you think is gonna be the event of our Earth a hundred million years from now that is gonna be amazingly different, changes everything. The aliens are flying here and they're flying saucers and look at these sedimentary layered mountains with layers of sedimentary plastic. <laughs> and then right above the layer of plastic is the zone where extinction happened for the human race. Oh, wow. <laughs> what an interesting story. Well, I don't think that'll be happening in Newfoundland because it doesn't look like they have any plastic. <laughs> I haven't seen any plastic bottles lying around anywhere. Okay, well, we'll think about that story. <laughs> we'll be back. I'll come back to it. <laughs> so here we are. The reason I wanted to come to Newfoundland and gross mourn to see the fjords. Remnants of the Ice Age. Forged down valleys. Moved rocks. Compressed the earth. Filled up water basins as the ice melted. Can't wait. Look, there they are in the background. And here it is, the fjords I've been waiting to see. I am totally amazed. So the glacier cut right through that. I'm speechless. Beautiful. I'm speechless. I don't know about you, but no way I wish we would have gotten on the boat. So the caribou are already up there in the highlands because of the summer. Although it's not really any cold here or warm here. So that's it. Stunning. I'm not sure I can capture it on film. It's hard to do that. But it is amazing. Well, there you got it. Mission accomplished. Now it's the icebergs so hard to get the full Monty of this. It's like unbelievable. And peaceful and clean. Majestic. Honorable. Amazing. The fjords of Newfoundland, a must-see. So I, I didn't know that. Fresh water, body of water, is called a pond here in Newfoundland. So we saw Berry Hill Pond. It was a pond, not a lake. 
This is a pond and it's fresh water from the glacier. Wow. This is amazing. Totally amazing. We didn't get on the boat. The last one was at three, but it's okay. So there isn't any very much life living in these waters, I guess because it's oxygen heavy, but nutrient depleted. There isn't much for fish and plants and grasses to live on. It takes a long time. They have to be slow growing. Hmm. Interesting, but I can see there's no fish in there. But as clear as can be. I wonder if you can drink it. It doesn't say anything about that, but I don't think I'm going to try. Because the table lands are not so... They have some kind of mineral in it that isn't so good for us. Anyway, that's Mother Earth for you. Always unpredictable. So we've concluded our three mile hike to the Western Brook Pond Glacier Cutout Fjords. We did it. It's just as pretty back here as it is up close. Very enjoyable. So this is a gorgeous beach. It's chilly, but it's mid-June. I guess they're real summer. Here it doesn't start till July 1st. It is chilly. I'm wearing a, a coat and a vest and boots and, but look at this beautiful beach. We haven't, well, really this part of the island of Newfoundland seems to have a lot of sand. Once we pass like, oh, Greenpoint, then there's now sandy beaches instead of rocks, rocky beaches. Very stunning. So this is Shallow Bay Beach and they have the sand dunes. Is it sunset over there? And then they have the mountains behind us. Now, I don't know where we have that in the U.S., but we have a beach and those mountains behind you, but snow on the mountains and a beach sand. Love it. Diversity, right? Such diversity. Namaste. So this is Nettie's pub that we stumble across. It's a hotel as well. But what a great place. What a great restaurant. We ended up meeting Rob the manager, one of the managers, maybe he's the manager, and he got us the two biggest lobsters reserved for dinner. It was amazing. Fresh out of the water. The eyes were still blinking. A great, great place. We feel so fortunate today to meet such great locals. Anyway, Nettie's Pub, highly suggest it. Go there, you'll love it, and introduce yourself to Rob. So all these houses we're passing, buildings, what have you, are all waterfront. Do you see any opulence here? It's so refreshing. 
do you see anywhere where you're blocked off from the beach and the water? No, it doesn't exist here. This is so, so refreshing to see commoners living along the water without being blocked off and not having access. These are all waterfront homes right here. Beautiful people, beautiful country, beautiful waterfront, and everyone has access. Now, wouldn't that be nice? Where do we have that in the US now? So here we found some boats. It's kind of interesting. We haven't really seen a lot of boats here for the amount of fish and lobster that there are. These boats kind of look a little bit retired. So we still haven't found out where the commoners are having a fishing um, business. We kind of heard from the one guy at Lobster Cove, it was all taken over by um, commercial fishermen. And those big boats, who knows where they are. But this is cute little fishing village. I don't know, I guess they fish, have their boat somewhere. Look at that cute little house. <laughs> I look like Gaelic. Yeah. Moose antlers on that house. This is incredible. I know. Wow. You don't see this anymore, anywhere. Here we are on a rocky shoreline. That's a St. Lawrence, I think. Amazing sunset over there. Sorry, folks, this is a little bit choppy because we're in the car, but I want to show you what other lives are like. It's sweet here, it's very sweet. Like a little bit like a dream. Well, turn on. Oh, look at Rita dancing around. She's happy. <laughs> There's the boats. Look at that. But I don't think they're in commission. Where do they keep their fishing boats? We have not figured that part out yet. Oh, looks like there's a boondocker up there. I bet you that's a boondocker, Chuck. Yeah. Next time we come back here, we're gonna boondock the whole time. That is definitely a boondocker. An unbelievable free spot. Maybe that's a boondocker over there, too. They don't have a light on, though. Look at the cute colors of these houses. That's what they do here. Uh, that might be somebody's permanent living quarters there. Yeah, they've been there for a bit. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, there's one color of house that's so interesting to me. Is this eggplant. Chuck, stop. I want people to see this eggplant color. I've seen many houses here with that eggplant color. It's so 
great. I bet you that's Rob's house. I'm gonna pretend like that's Rob's house, the manager of the of Nutties. So great looking. Eggplant. Think about that color. Hmm. Better homes and gardens. Okay. We did a lot of hiking yesterday, probably about seven miles or more. And sometimes you blow out your flip-flops and sometimes you blow out your boots. I blew out my boots. So I'm gonna ritualize them here in Shallow Bay of Gross Morn National Park. What a better way, where the rocks blew them out and ritualizing them here in Shallow Bay is a perfect because we had our longest hike here, seeing the fjords. Goodbye, Timberlines. You served me well since 2007. It's time for new boots. So this is our campsite in Shaw Bay. Gotta watch my footing here because we are really in the woods. Isn't it pretty though? It's like, I don't know. Feels like one of those special movies or something. Like a dream. There she is. That's Margarita in Shaw Bay. I think it's Shaw Bay.
Shallow Bay. It's Shallow Bay. Gosh, I wish I could remember things. Don't get old. It's crappy. Can't remember anything. At least I remember how much fun I'm having. That is pretty cool. And there's Rita. Rita the van. Margarita. I love Grossmore. Thank and you. Grossmore has been a fabulous beginning of the trip. It has. You can't come to Newfoundland without spending a lot of time here. I wish we had one more day at least, but we will if we get back here. We'll stay over there in Le Monde. We'll go to Le Monde on our way back to yep. the ferry. Yep. I'm not going to cancel that one. That looks like a must-do.